Guys, what's up? It's Callista, and this is going to be my final installment on my Need for Speed series, which is focused on research, construction, and training speed. In this particular video, the video, we are going to focus on training speed. So I'm not going to necessarily tell you train X number of T3 and Y number of T4 and this type of troop type. It is really about efficiency, and this is going to be about um, how to improve your speeds and efficiencies from a training perspective. Two buildings that we're going to be focused on. One of them is going to be barracks. Barracks do not impact your training speed. Instead, they impact the amount of troops that you can train at a time. So if you have one barrack, you can train 5,000 troops. If you have two barracks, you can train 10,000 troops, so on and so forth. Now, how many barracks is the quintessential Lord's Mobile question, and it really depends on your situation. Right now, in case you're wondering, you're like, Calista, what are you running? I'm running one barrack. Um, I might run two right now. I'm in a place where I absolutely need my hospitals, and the, this is the trade-off that you have, right? Manners, hospitals, and barracks all kind of fight for the same amount of space. Uh, but really what is going to impact your training speed is going to be your manner. So the amount of manners that you have will impact your training speed and each manner is going to improve your training speed by 20%. Uh, the secondary kind of benefit to manners is that they also help produce gold and gold is very, very important, especially as you're thinking about unlocking your T4. So how many banners should manners should you have? Again, it really depends on your particular situation. Are you in a very dangerous place where you need a lot of hospitals? What should your hospital capacity look like depends on how many troops you have, right? So keep that in mind. It really depends. I think right now I'm running about eight or nine manners in case you're interested. So you're going to have your first training speed is going to be in your military tree. And that is going to be kind of very up top. Then your secondary speed uh, research is going to be in your upgrade uh, military tree. And you can see it there. And then your third one is going to be in your army leadership tree. That is training speed three. Um, and it maxed out will give you a 10% training speed increase. So those are your three training speeds, uh, training speed researches. And I recommend moving through those. And even though you have to sometimes go through researches that you think are totally worthless to get to some of those training speeds, training speed is going to end up being super, super important later on when you're trying to create a ton of troops, thinking about meat shields and things like that. Now let's think about equipment, right? So that's something that we're always checking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our handy dandy filter. We're going to click training speed and we're gonna see what freaking equipment can we use to improve training speed? And the answer is going to be not a whole lot. The only thing that will improve training speed is an offhand champion lamp. I do not recommend it. I will just say that. Um, I will say if you're using it because of the ranged and infantry buffs or the infantry and cav buffs, totally makes sense, right? If you want to go the champ way, it is incredibly expensive. Each champ pack is $100. This is not worth the 10% training speed. So to me, the answer is if you're doing it for the training speed, don't because you'll never get there. It's incredibly expensive. But if you're doing it for the other buffs, then it makes sense. It's kind of like a neat secondary buff. Uh, now let's go through the heroes and figure out which ones have training speed boosts and the answer is going to be not many and you can see me kind of quickly running through here um, all the heroes that I have looking for that quintessential training speed boost um, and this is re uh, the reason why the ones that do have training speed are so important and so valuable uh, because you can see research construction obviously um, some of the army boosts but training speed not a whole lot guys uh, Witch Doll is, again, I keep saying this, she's super underrated in my book. She has construction research and training speed. Um, I'm working with her now. She is pay to play though, so she's not a free to play option. Um, so she's pay to play, not incredibly expensive. I don't think she's the most expensive here, but she certainly is not the cheapest. Uh, but she is definitely one that does give you that training boost. I'm Going through these again, here's the Watcher, probably one of the most famous heroes. Uh, and he gives you a training boost of 20% when he's golden. Uh, Watcher is quote unquote free to play. And the reason that I say that is because he's pretty expensive to level up. And I might be making a video on him just because I feel like there's a lot of opportunity. Dream Witch, which I just ran through, is basically Watcher's twin. She has training speed boosts. Uh, Dark Follower also has a training speed boost. Again, Dream Witch is probably the most expensive hero to level up. 
Dark Follower, not as expensive, but he's also pay to play. And I think that basically rounds out what uh, heroes actually have training boosts. So next, we're going to talk about our turf boosts. There are two types of turf boosts for training, a 10% and a 20%. You can get these from packs. I believe the pack called Oracle's Blessing uh, might have the 20% training boost. And the way that you should use these is similar to construction and research, but in a bigger way. I totally recommend hoarding gems having a solid amount of gems and then just creating a crap load of troops, making sure you have all the resources and then trying to stack all your boosts. So hopefully you can put on a turf boost. Uh, again, there are wonder boosts that you can use. Uh, there is, I believe, um, to be able to um, improve your training speed, it's chief. Uh, and it gives you a 5% boost. So you can, you know, if you're friendly with the with the ruling uh, guild, you can ask for that. There's also kingdom boost, a training boost of 10% for four hours. You typically will see this training boost probably before KVK and after KVK. Uh, and the overlord is the one that needs to pop those on. So if you see a, tra a kingdom training boost, it might be a good idea to pop your own turf boost. Make sure that you spec for training, right? So you're going to put all your talent points in training. Uh, you're going to make sure that you have... I don't think you're going to have any training gear, but you're going to want to make sure that you have all your um, training things, your training boosts and your training talents um, up to par. You have your gems, your resources, and you can start making a lot of troops at the same time. Again, all in the sake of efficiency. Hope this was helpful. Leave any questions and comments below. Thank you so much for watching.